The other day, I was playing hardpoint on firing range, and I captured the hardpoint, as I should. However, someone else on the enemy team was playing Ajax, and he decided to use the right shield and fortify. My teammate and I were trying to divert his attention so the other one could try to get a pick on an angle, and we failed miserably. When we respawn, we go back to the hardpoint, and we see him camping in the corner, with his fortified right shield melting at anyone who dared try challenge him at this point. That got me thinking, how powerful is a fortified right shield? Or in other words, is there any specialist ability or weapon that can counter it? Well, here's why I'm to find out. I set up a private match and tested all specialist abilities and weapons on fortified Ajax. We are not allowing Ajax to do anything, he's just standing there and taking it. Let's see how powerful his right shield really is. So the first step I figured was Ajax versus Ajax. I tried the 9 bang, but <laughs> it doesn't really matter if he's in the corner, so yeah. But what about right shield versus right shield? Yeah, it does nothing. They don't affect each other whatsoever. Essentially, whoever pulled out the right shield first will be the one to lose. Okay, well, Ajax was a dud. How about Battery? War Machine must be able to counter his right shield. There's no way she... and that was wrong. Well, half wrong. Direct hits do nothing to the shield, not even a single scratch. However, if you shoot above Ajax or beside him, the explosion will kill him. So basically, if Ajax is coming at you with his right shield, there's very little you can do. But if Ajax is camping at a corner, well then you got him, mate. Oh, and before I forget, her cluster grenade is a similar story. Except you might want to be careful because the clusters can hurt you as well. So, yeah. Cool, we got some helpful information with battery. How about crash? <laughs> yeah, why bother? Poor guy has nothing in his arsenal that will even come close. To hurting Ajax, so skip. <laughs> All right, Crash has no chance, but Firebreak seems promising, and I was right. Firebreak's radiation ability works wonders against Ajax, even if Ajax is looking straight at Firebreak. Ajax doesn't stand a chance against Firebreak's radiation. I must admit, radiation is rather broken, but that's a matter for another video. So, radiation works, but what about his flamethrower? Well, the flamethrower is a is technically a counter. However, if Ajax would be shooting his pistol, I don't think Firebreak would win. Therefore, I would use radiation over flamethrower if I was up against Ajax. But that's just me. Up next, Nomad with his mesh mine and canine unit. Now we know if Ajax is in the corner, the mesh mine will do nothing but if he's walking through a doorway, that might be a different story. And it works like a beauty. The mines explode behind him. But what if he's walking backwards? Yeah, I don't know why I thought it would make a difference. Okay, what about the most annoying dog in video game history, Nomad's K9? And yeah, the dog is useless against Ajax. He just runs and plays and barks. So yeah, now I know. How to put down this freaking dog. Perfect. It's time for Prophet, one of my favorite characters in Black Ops 3. So the Seeker Mind does nothing. It goes against the right shield and literally bounces off and rides away. Prophet's Tempest has a similar story. Sadly, it is just as useless as his Seeker Mind. So, yeah, not profit. Okay, remember the guy in the beginning of the video, the reason I made this whole video? I was recon in that situation, and I thought maybe recon could counter him with a wall bang. And yeah, you can, but you better hope he is in a corner where there is a thin wall, where it doesn't take forever to kill him, or else he'll just turn and block it. All right, so battery isn't too useful against Ajax, but Ruin. 
Ren must be able to do something with that powerful gravity spike. And he just has to. And I am now done with how stupidly powerful this right shield is. Right is completely ineffective. It, it does nothing. Why isn't it effective? You have to get lucky and gravity spike from behind or do it point blank to even have a chance of killing him. Which frankly is retarded. Just saying. Alright. Before testing, I thought Seraph might be able to destroy the shield, but after battery and ruin, all hope was lost and yeah. I shot 3.5 mags of her annihilator into the shield and it was still perfectly intact. If you're going to use annihilator against right shield, you better pray you can get a cheeky peek shot, otherwise, just run the other way. Now Torque was by far the most interesting person to test, and you'll see why. After seeing Firebreak's radiation work so well, I expected Torque's main ability would work wonders, and it didn't at first. In fact, it had no effect at all, which was weird. I think I found a glitch or something, I don't know. It seems if you set up his ability in a corner, no heat emanates from the machine or something. Anyway, so I repositioned his ability, and yeah, it works wonders. There's nothing Ajax can do against Torque's main ability. However, actually setting it up in front of Ajax may turn out to be rather difficult. Alright, I had another hypothesis. Since Nomad's mesh mine worked well, what about Torque's barbed wire? It should work, right? This time it is a definite no. Ajax's right shield just goes straight through the barbed wire. In fact, if you walk back and forth, through it a couple of times, the wire just gets destroyed without you having to actually do anything to damage it, just walking back and forth. However, there is a caveat. The riot shield goes through the barbed wire only if you are fortified. If you're in the middle of the barbed wire and you get off fortified, you'll get injured. The opposite is also true. Anyway, thank you for watching my videos. Hope you learned something today. This was definitely a fun video to make, and I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, go ahead and click on the like button down below. And if you didn't, well, you know what to do. Anyway, my name is Gold Code, and see you guys next time. Peace out.